All right, guys, welcome back. I am so excited because uh, I am finally going to talk to you guys about the video game that I have been producing now and directing and uh, developing for the past two, three years. It's called Greek in the City, just like this uh, YouTube channel. And uh, I'm so nervous to share this with you guys. Honestly, I haven't been making videos because my free time used to go to making videos and now it goes to making this video game. So that's why I've been MIA, because I've been really making all this. But now we're back and it's time to show it off because it's time to promote it. And I want you guys to test it when I first release it on GreekInTheCity.com in like a month and a half, two months. Um, it'll be here by December and you guys will be able to test it. Tell me what you think and help me make it the best that it could possibly be. That's on GreekInTheCity.com. And now without any further ado, let's get into this uh, overview, my first like, I guess, official game dev vlog. Yeah, this is the dev vlog. Number one, baby. The other thing that I posted was just like a, a gameplay video. Bum, 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 bum. You see, I really am nervous about this. Let me have a sip of my coffee before I continue to tell you. Without further ado, just remember, not everything is in it right now. It's just really the story. It's a work in progress. In Greek mythology, chaos is the first being to ever exist. A goddess, primordial being, and element. She was created from nothing and ruled over a void state between the earth and heaven. One day, in her intolerable loneliness, she created her siblings, Kronos, Gaia, Tartaros, Eros, and Nyx, just to amuse herself. Quickly, the gods took on lives and creations all their own, but Chaos didn't feel sustained by their attentions or their storylines anymore. So she turned her attention to the city. That's right, New York City. <laughs> the Big Milo. And our story begins with a boy. This is Theo. Ruli! And that is his grandma, Yaya. Or Ruli, like his uh, grandma Yaya likes to call him. Yes, that's what the script says. And let's not forget about the rest of his family. Papu, Uncle George, Karagyozi, even though they ain't family. But YOLO, we're Greek, so we all family. So I guess let's jump in to some gameplay. Uh, let's start. <laughs> so, uh, welcome to your backyard, Theo. So you play as Theo. That's Theo right there. He might look familiar to you. Um, this here is your guest house. This thing. At, at Yaya and Papu's house. You can use A and D to move right and left and space to jump. Now this, we I haven't finished decorating it yet, but Papa. it's... Yaya's garden, and a little further up is where Yaya and Papu live. There's Yaya. She calls Theo Ruli. Actually, my father's name is Theo Hari, and um, his mom and dad used to call him Ruli. Actually, everybody in his choreo back in Greece used to call him Ruli too. And here is Papu, and he says, uh, your grandmother has lost her mind. Papa. Why? It looks like we can use the floor pattern. So anywhere that you see the Greek um, key tile, you will be able to like um, go through it by pressing S. So that's crouch and then space at the same time. And then it brings you to another scene and another amazing classic Greek song. I did not shout out the Fragosia Fragosiriano in the beginning, but yeah, we have a fun little Zebekiko over here. And as you can see in the background, we see the church, and that's actually level two. Right 
right now we're looking at level one, where we beat the first, the first boss, and we have to collect three keys to get there. And does this guy look familiar right here? Uh, you might know him as Barba Yorgo, and in this game, his name is Uncle George. And what does Uncle George have to say? Oh, Theo, the wise guy's kids have taken over the family diner. They are throwing gyros everywhere, and the olive oil we use to fry things with has seeped through the grates. We are in trouble. What? This is crazy. Let's get into the diner. Now, another great Greek song. Traditional classic folk music, which the goal is to have an amazing roster of just traditional Greek music that that really speaks to the story that's being told and also just makes you guys vibe out. I love Greek music. Um, so right now we are in the diner. It is not finished being decorated and there's also going to be falling gyros which you if they hit you 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 die. Um, oop. And we just fell into the olive oil. Uh, so let's go because right now we still don't have any of our powers so we get our powers here in in the diner and it's where our first set of powers comes from and it's uh it's two things you will be able to this place just got interesting use k to hit and o to shoot our hit and our shoot is slightly different because our hit is the classic Greek parta malaka, which uh, looks like this. Hold on. Parta malaka. <laughs> I love it. And then if you collect the Greek um, coffee cups, uh, you're welcome, kid. Now you got your life back. Um, so now let's break through this other wall. And also, this function is not in here yet, but um, we will be able to shoot gyros too. And um, Theo goes between the two ways that I know of saying gyro and gyro, the Greek and English way. So all right now you're just gonna see a bullet, but it will be a gyro. And a little further up, this other guy may look familiar. Ugh! Parta. It was Karagyozi. And in this game, um, his name is Wise Guy or Mr. Karagyoz. And, um, you know, if you don't know, Karagyozi is also from the classic Greek folktale. Um, Karagyozi, the same one that, that, um, the same one that Uncle George is from, Barba Yorgo. They are from Karagyozi, and Karagyozi has lots of children, and they all look like him, and they have wailing hands, and they try to really, really get you. Then, and, and they like to spit at you, too. We have the Mati monsters, but thank God for your life source. Oh, there's our second key. All right. All right, Uncle George, we're gonna go fight this Greek god right now, Chaos. But first, we gotta get through a few things. Parta Malaka. So that was just a little bit of the actual gameplay. Also, once you get through the first level in the game, then you come to the first block in the game. And what the blocks are, are essentially how you navigate um, the Greek in the city levels. And block one is Theo's house. And that's where it starts. But after you get through the whole first portion of the game, that is when you're going to get to 
the open world of block number one. Here is Theo's home block. Um, here we go. Hold on. Let's show it around. Show it around. Okay. This is Theo's. This is Yaya's house. This is the front of Yaya's house. And if you notice, this is the side that you see um, when we're in the backyard in the other level. Now, you can go into this house too. Now, here is the church. Um, we have the buzukia where Papu hangs out, and the coffee house, the cafe nio, duh. Um, this is supposed to be the olive oil stuff, but right now it's not rendering properly. If you guys want to give me any feedback, please leave it in the comments down below. Also, GreekInTheCity.com is ready, and it's kind of like Facebook or a social media network for all things Greek mythology, Greek folklore, Greek culture, Greek food, cuisine, travel. Honestly, it's amazing. And you have your own profile on there. You can earn different badges. You have a homepage. Um, you can play games. It's, it's so much fun. There's, you're gonna be able to play this game on there for free and it's how we are going to be able to develop this together and I can continue to get your insight. And the more that you guys play the game and the more information and help feedback that you guys give us here at Greek in the City, um, we are going to try to give back to you as much as possible. And the way that we're going to do this is with our city cash, which you'll be earning on GreekInTheCity.com. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're still watching, please subscribe, like this video. If you like the video, if you like the idea, you know, if you don't, you could thumbs down. That's all you. Thank you guys for watching. That's how you say I love you in Greek. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>